you know, I really love this old colonial charm. I'll take it. Sorry, you can't have it. But why? This home is in violation of code TR3 stroke 789 and DWX slash 782. What does that mean? It means the wiring's no good. Then why did you bring me here? I just wanted to share this beautiful historic home with someone before the wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. Ah! Ah! We just had a bit of fun, but regrettably, many historical structures and homes have been demolished due to non-compliance with regulatory standards. However, engineers are resolving this issue. Honeywell has recently announced new collaborations with analog devices and NXP semiconductors aimed at enhancing digital connectivity and energy efficiency in building automation and management. These partnerships focus on improving existing building systems without extensive rewiring and expanding efficiency through automation. Specifically, the collaboration with analog devices aims to improve building automation systems while the partnership with NXP semiconductors focuses on enhancing energy management through smart technologies. These initiatives have the chance to revolutionize sustainability, creating safer and more energy efficient properties, and hopefully rescue a few historic homes in the process. Let's check out our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Weidmuller 1241 network switch is an unmanaged plug and play switch designed for communication and ethernet networks. It boasts all of these features and has an IP30 rating. Offering a metal enclosure and a nice price point, it delivers dependable performance. Additionally, it supports IEEE 802.3 standards, port surveillance, and broadcast storm protection. The switch accepts supply voltages of 12, 24, 48 volts DC with redundant inputs making it suitable for various industrial applications. The Weidmuller 1241 network switch is a high performance economical solution for industrial ethernet networks and you can find out more about it by visiting mauser.com. We're focused on wiring today because wiring weaves the web of connectivity. To learn more about the network's backbone, we present David's Corner. Take it away, David. Thanks, Andy. Wire may not be one of the most interesting topics in electrical control systems, but control systems wouldn't be anywhere without the ability to carry the current from one place to another. But there's a lot more to it than simply choosing a strand of wire to use for your next project. There are two fundamentally different kinds of wire, and these are solid and stranded wires. Now, for a lot of projects, we use stranded wire both because it's flexible, but also because solid wire has a downside that's not obvious to most people. And that is this thing called skin effect. Skin effect is where most of the electricity in a solid core wire in an alternating system travels around the outside edge of the wire, not as much in the center of the wire. So when we break up our wire into a braided multi-strand, then most of the current is able to travel more efficiently throughout the entire wire, rather than just remaining around the outside edge. So in the same amount of wire, in the same volume of copper, we can get far more efficient current conduction. So in your next project, when you have to choose between solid or stranded wire, and sometimes between copper and aluminum wire, it's always important to know the right characteristics of the system. What is it doing? Where is it going? What kind of signals is it carrying? Those kind of questions are what allow you to choose the right wire for your next installation project. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Do you ever have the creepy feeling like you're being watched? Either that's Mecha Spider-Man or robots can hang on ceilings now. Click here to find out. And don't forget to visit control.com, your go-to source for all things control automation. See you next time.